Hi boys and girls! I'm really happy to be back for story time. I know I haven't been around for a, a little while, I've been a bit poorly, but I feel so much better now and I'm really happy to be back doing story time for you. So I'm going to upload two stories for you today um, so you get your fix of my face hopefully. Um, and the one I'm going to read right now is a one that's really close to my heart, one that I really love because it reminds me of some at one of my old classes because um, we used it in one of our year six productions and I get to do all of the funny voices that I think you'll really love. So it's from this book here called Revolting Rhymes and it's a Roald Dahl book. You might have read some of them, you might not have heard of this one before but I know you'll all know this name Roald Dahl. So this story that I'm gonna read, it's a poetry book but they tell stories, uh, they tell stories as well, well-known stories that we know but with a bit of a twist and I think you're gonna love this one because it's really funny. So it's called Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Now I'm sure you all have seen, you all know that story of Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Maybe you don't know it this well. <clears throat> as soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin. And Wolfie said, may I come in? Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up with one big bite. But Grandmama was small and tough and Wolfie wailed, that's not enough. I haven't yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I've got to have another helping. Then added with a frightful leer, I'm therefore going to wait right here till little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. There he is, in Grandma's clothes. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes and after that, he even brushed and curled his hair, then sat himself in Grandma's chair. In case in came the little girl in red. She stopped, she stared, and then she said, What great big ears you have, Grandma? All the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma, said the little red riding hood. All the better to see you with my dear. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her old grandmama, she's going to taste like caviar. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, but grandmama, what a lovely big furry coat you have on. wrong cried wolf have you forgot to tell me what big teeth i've got oh well no matter what you say i'm going to eat you anyway the small girl smiles one eyelid flickers she whips a pistol from her knickers she aims it at the creature's head and bang 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 she shoots him dead a few weeks later in the wood I came across Miss Riding Hood, but what a change, no cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and do please note my lovely furry wolf skin coat. And there's a follow up story to that one that I'll read for you another time. How is that different to the Little Red Riding, Red Riding Hood story that you know? 
Can you talk about the differences between the characters, the traditional Red Riding Hood, who's picking her flowers in the woods and gets eaten by the wolf, and this Red Riding Hood here? What kind of character is that Red Riding Hood that ends the story with a lovely furry wolf skin coat? I look forward to our story time tomorrow. Until then, bye everyone.